So for this tutorial you're going to need two different colours of uh, DK, that's double knit yarn. Now I'm using two different shades of red here. One is a brighter sort of tomato -y colour and what, the other is a darker, more sort of clarity, um, sort of post box red really. Uh, or fire engine red perhaps and together they make this lovely uh, let me just show you one that I made before they made this lovely mixture of color here which is great this is the bigger one and I've made a bit more slouchy uh, but we're going to be making the smaller one and I will give you the instructions as we go along to make it slightly more slouchy if you prefer your your hat or your beanie to be more slouchy you'll also need a six millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle for weaving in your ends, and a pom-pom. Now, if you are no good at making pom-poms, I can make them, but when I put them on, they sort of flobble about a bit, and they're not that tight, um, and that's because I'm not that skilled at sewing. Uh, it's something I have to work on. So I went online, and I bought this little faux fur thing, and it's so lovely. I like sort of playing with it it comes a little bit squashed because it came in an envelope and that's fine you just sort of play with it to bring it back to life quite easily isn't it cute it's like a tribble um this one comes with a popper so what you have to do is test to see if your needle goes through and mine doesn't so i'm gonna need my smaller yarn needle and that goes right the way through so that's going to take it it's just going to be a bit more fiddly to get my yarn in there but I can use a threader to do that and then at the end all I have to do is find the very top sew this onto the top and then pop the gorgeous furry pom-pom on there as well okay so these are the things we need let's get on with it so I'm putting my two strands together to form a thicker strand, but it also forms uh, to makes it make, creates a nice different colour when you uh, let me just wrap it a few times around my fingers. You can see that you're creating an interesting uh, new colour from two strands. If you haven't got two types of DK, you can of course use an Aran or worsted weight yarn. So we're going to start with a slip knot. There we are. And we're going to chain sixty. Okay, so I've chained 60 and I'm just going to run my fingers along it, go all the way back, making sure it's not twisted, all the way back to the first. And I'm going to join right in there and make a slip stitch. Just join with a slip stitch, just like that. Okay. So now we have created our circle that we are going to start with and this is begins the brim of the hat. So now we're going to get, go all the way around this uh, with a single crochet. So we're going to the next one, we're going to do single crochet into every stitch all the way around. Now the tricky thing it's making sure that you go under both strands and that when you hook it through you are hooking both strands together at the same time and that's the tricky thing with two strands but if you're just patient and you take your time that's fine so we just do two strands making sure that we have got them on our hook and that we didn't just leave one behind. And we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. So I finished that row there and I'm going to just join with a slip stitch to the first 
single crochet um, making sure that I've got all four strands there because each stitch there as you can see is like a V and you've got this lovely V shape there and you because it's two strands we want to go under both for each side so pull up a loop and then pull it straight through the one on your hook so here is where we are going to begin our ribbing we're going to do a double crochet so we're going to yarn over but instead of going into the same space and starting that stitch in there we're going to go behind and do what we call a front loop double crochet now begin with yarning over if you haven't done this before we go into the space but instead of going right the way through we're going to come up behind and through the next one so let me just pull my hook out and point out this between each stitch you've got a little space so you've got the first one there and you've got the second one there and in between you've got what we call a post so to make this double crochet you yarn over and you want to come behind that post pop through that side yarn over and holding it firmly you want what you want to hold it at the bottom firmly you're going to pull that loop back behind and out to the front so you've now got three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and this is going to pull it up to the front now this is what we call a front post double crochet now for the next one we're going to do a back post double crochet so we yarn over and this time we're going to come from the back so if you want to flip it over slightly to help you and then do the same thing you go in that gap the gap before the post and come through the gap after the post yarn over and pull that yarn right the way through so that your yarn is behind the stitch so we yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and you will see the difference between these two now so this one is proud at the front and this one is sinking to the back now I'm going to do another front post so from the front through grab that yarn pull it up through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so as you see we've now got two that are proud and that one is at the back let me just show you what that ribbing looks like when it is finished so this is four rows as you can see here and we're just on this first row here but this is four rows and this is how it will look nicely ribbed so this is how we're beginning this so now we've done that front one I want to do another back one so I'm going to just flip it over slightly to makes it easier to do it then I'm going through to catch that post yarn over tug that yarn right the way through and finish off the double crochet as usual then I'm coming front again to do the next one oops just double check I'm um, right yes I want that one there pull it through do a front post double crochet then the next stitch is a back post double crochet take your time there's no rush it's not a race it can be a little fiddly to get used to especially on this row because we started with a single crochet so the posts are shorter but I promise you it does get easier from here on out and then there's that back post double crochet front post You might have to sort of jiggle a little bit just to get it so you can see where you are and that's fine the yarn is quite forgiving if you have to jiggle a little bit just to make sure you're getting that in the right place the yarn is very forgiving and here's our next stitch we'll just flip it over 
come through, pull up a loop and yarn through two and yarn through two and we finished that double crochet and then we're going to keep going all the way around until we come back to the beginning. So I've come to the end of that round and I'm just going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet that we did there. Okay, wonderful. All right, so there, that is what that looks like. Oh, I've got a bit of fluff there. Let me just remove that. So that is what the first round of ribbing looks like. So now we're going to do the next row. So we're going to just, with this, this slip stitch, we're going to count as our first uh, chain in order to take us uh, into the right place. So we're not going to do any other chains. We're just going to yarn over and this time, it's a lot easier because the posts are taller and not only are the posts taller so it's easier to use but you know which one's front which one's back because you've already done the most fiddly part so for this round we are going to go see that's so much easier we're going to do exactly the same Oops. That's a front post and then the next one is a back post and it's so much easier to do it because we've already done it and we've paved the way. Front post and back post. Front post and back post. Ooh. it's very easy to drop one of your strands there we go and back post so we're going to continue that with front post and back post all the way around until we meet here and join again with another slip stitch so I've come to the last stitch here and as you can see it's going to be a back post double crochet and I'm going to join to this first one here with a slip stitch. Okay, I'm going to chain one and we're on to the next round here and again it follows in exactly the same way. We're going to do front post double crochets on the front posts and back posts on the back post. You go through the back hook up that yarn and then continue the double crochet in exactly the same way and it's a front post you pull it through the front just like this as we have been doing for the past two rows and we continue this all the way around so I'll keep going and I'll see you at the other end so I've come to the end of this round as well. Just one more to do, and that is that back post double crochet in there. Okay, lovely. All right. So I'm going to join to this first stitch here with a slip stitch, just like that, chain one, and we're going to do the last row now of this ribbing and as you can see it's really nice and thick and the thing I like about this is when it's really really cold and that wind is biting this bit goes over your ears nicely and it can stop us getting that horrible um, ear infections or even just pain, e painful ears uh, from that cold biting wind. Alright so we're going into this next one and we're doing a front post double crochet Then we're doing a back post double crochet just like we have done before then a front post and a back post and we're going to continue that exactly the same to continue these lovely thick plait kind of look ribs all the way around i'll see you at the end 
So I've reached the end of my final row of ribbing here. I'm just doing my last back post double crochet and joining to the first stitch of the follow uh, the, the beginning of the round with a slip stitch there. So we have finished this gorgeous thick ribbing and now we're on to the next row. So do a slip uh, chain one there. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, a row of half double crochets. Now if you are um, if you are doing the slouchy version, you're going to do two rows of half double crochet here. So we're going to go into the first stitch. So we're going to go into the same stitch as we started there because it is the first stitch. We're going to, excuse me, let me start that bit again because I was doing a single crochet. We're going to do a half double. So we yarn over, we go into that stitch and we pull up a loop. So we have three on our hook remember when I'm doing double strands so it looks like six so with a half double crochet you yarn over here oops having a moment with my yarn and then you're going to pull that all the way through all three at the same time so I'll do it again we yarn over go into the next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three yarn over go in and pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three and that's a half double crochet for the ordinary size hat we are going to do half double crochet just one row of half double crochets if you are doing it slouchy you're going to want it longer so you're going to do two rows of half double crochet so we're going to go into the stitches no more front or back posts we are actually going into the stitches as you can see and we're going to do a whole row of half double crochets so i will continue doing that and i will meet you back here so i've come to the end of that round and i'm just going to slip stitch here with that first into that first half double crochet of the round and now we've started this lovely it's a, it's a really pretty stitch and I quite like the the half double cro crochet all right so we're going to chain one and we're going to start the shell stitching so we're going to start with a single crochet into this first stitch And then we're going to skip two, that's one, two, and into the third, so one, two, and into this third stitch here, we're going to put five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five and as you can see that makes this lovely shell shape so we're going to skip two so we've gone into there so that's one that's two and so into the third one after that so one two three we're going to anchor that with a single crochet and as you can see that pulls the shell straight and flat down so again we're going to do the same thing we're going to skip to skip two and put five double crochets into the next stitch so i need a bit more yarn there we go one two three four and five We've got our shell with five double crochets, skip two and anchor it with a single crochet in that third one there. Okay, and that should give you that shape all the way around. So I'll do one more with you and then we'll complete the row. So skip two and into that third one, do five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. 
and then we're going to skip to and anchor into that third with a single crochet. So we are going to continue that all the way around and I'll meet you back at the beginning. So I've come to the end of my round of the first row of shell stitches and I'm skipping to and I'm going to uh, anchor with a single crochet but I'm not going to single crochet into this bit here but into the first stitch there the single crochet that started it all okay so now because we are halfway through this we are going to want to do a half double crochet, um, sorry, a half shell stitch here. So this next row, we're going to chain three. Then in the same stitch, we're going to do two more double crochets. So we've done a half shell here. Okay. Then what we're going to do is skip two and that takes us to the center of the shell. So we're going to skip two and in the center of that shell we're going to go through that stitch at the top. Oops, I've yarned over. We're going to anchor with a single crochet in the center there. So we're going to anchor in the middle crochet. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go down to the single crochet next and we're going to create a shell in that. It's like peaks and troughs here. So we call that like a trough or a valley. So we're going to do another shell, which is five double crochets. That's three, four, and five and we anchor into the middle crochet that's the third right in there with a single crochet and there you can see them laying on top of each other like that so we go to yarn over and we're going to go into this single crochet here that anchored the last row and we're going to make another shell so that's five double crochets that's two oops it's a bit tricky sometimes with the two strands three four five but eventually you get the hang of it and so we're going to skip two stitches which brings us to the third the middle and anchor with a single crochet so it's the same pattern we're going to do a shell of five double crochets and anchor with a single crochet two stitches later uh, which then actually puts us in the center of the shell before so again we skip two which takes us to the single crochet where we do a shell of five And five in there, that's great. And then we skip two, which takes us to the center, the peak of the shell from the last row. And we anchor with a single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way around. And I'll meet you back at the beginning. So I've come to the end of the row there and I've anchored here on this uh, shell stitch here and I've got two stitches left and then I have to finish that beginning shell that we made with the chain three and two. So I've yarned over and I'm going to slip into the same stitch that we did the chain three and I'm going to complete, oops, I'm going to complete that shell with two double crochets so that leads me right into the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch let me get both bits there I'm going to slip stitch right into there okay so that's I've got myself right into the middle of this shell which is the natural place to do a single crochet so I've jumped over so I'm going to go in there and I'm actually going to go underneath that stitch to secure it a bit better and I'm going to create that single crochet and then 
I'm going to go over, slip, uh, slip, skip two stitches and then I'm going to go into this single crochet of the one before and create a shell and that's how we continue this third row. Okay, that's three, four and five. And again, if you remember, we skip two and then we anchor with a single crochet into that next stitch. So that's actually the middle of that shell. So that's exactly the same as we have been doing before. So I'm going to yarn over, skip two and go into this single crochet here and create another shell. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to anchor that by skipping two and going into the center of the shell with a single crochet. So I'm going to continue that exactly the same all the way around and we'll join together again at the end. So we finish this round and we're going to do a slip stitch into that beginning stitch there which is two stitches away from the center of the sh first shell. So we've done a slip stitch and what we need to do now is to chain three if you remember. Then we're going to go into the same stitch again and create two double crochets creating half a shell here oops creating half a shell so that we can begin this next round and of course that is going to finish in the correct spot when we finish the round so this next stitch we're going to skip two as we have before and we're going to anchor into the top of the shell before with a single crochet then we're going to skip two again and go into the single crochet there and create a shell. So we're going to do this all the way around again and I'll meet you when we get to the end of this row. Here we are again at the end of this round and if you remember we need to complete it by making uh, two more half double crochets right in here. So we'll go into the bottom of the stitch where the chain three is and make two double crochets. Sorry, uh, let's, I'm just going to undo that because that's quite loose there. I just want to tighten that back up again. Okay, go back in there and create those two double crochets to finish off that and then we're going to just simply slip stitch into the top of that chain three. So that brings us to on to the next round so we're already in position we're in the center of this shell and we want to go back in again into where we came out of just then. Oops. I've slipped let's just go straight in there that's the place and make a single crochet it sometimes can be quite tricky with a two strand but there we go we've got it so we're going to can continue with this round this is one two three four round five um, we're going to do seven of these shells so if you are confident enough you can repeat the last two rows again uh, finish off this one and then repeat it two more rows. Uh, if not you can carry on with me. So I'm going to yarn over and go skip two into the single crochet and do a shell just as we have before. That's five double crochets to create the shell. So what have we got there? Four and five then we skip two, one, two, and we go into the center of this shell and anchor it with a single crochet. 
again skip two and go into the single crochet and create another shell then we anchor that by skipping two going into the center of the previous shell there on the previous row and doing a single crochet and again we will continue that all the way round. So I've come to the end of that row and I have joined with a slip stitch and now I'm going to chain three and create half a shell with two more half double, cro uh, double crochets into that stitch and then I'm going to anchor with a single crochet and do a fan in this stitch here, this single crochet here, just like the previous two rows. So I'm going to go ahead and complete those two rows and when I've finished I'll come back. Okay so I've come to the end of those rounds and I'm just going to anchor this with a uh, slip stitch into that single crochet that began the round there there we go and so that pulls it all together and we should have one two three four five six and seven rows of single uh, of shell stitches which is really really pretty okay so for this next row we're going to do a row of half double crochets so we're going to start by going into that first stitch it's a bit stiff I'm afraid there we go we're going to go straight in there pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three okay that's that first one and then into oops yarn over first yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three that's the half double crochet so we yarn over go in through the stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three and we're going to do a whole row of half double crochet mimicking the row that we did down here of half double crochet the first row after the ribbing okay so we'll just go round with half double crochet and I will meet you at the beginning So I've come to the end of that round and I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round there and then just chain one to bring us up oh I've crocheted one of my hairs in there there okay so now we are on to the decrease rounds. Now if you're going to make this slouchier, you're going to begin with six single uh, half double crochets, sorry, and then one half double crochet together. So you will do a row of six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. Um, but we are going to do three because we're not doing the slouchy version. So if you're going to, um, if you want to start with, if you want to make the slouchy one, you are going to do six half double crochets crochets and then one half double crochet together but we're going to do um, three because we're not doing the slouchy one for this tutorial so we're going to go into that same stitch that that's come from that chain one came from and we're going to make our first half double crochet there so that's yarn over go into the stitch yarn over uh, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three so that's two and then we're going to do three so now we're going to do a stitch called a half double crochet together so in order to make a half double crochet together that is an a decrease stitch that is where we're going to put these next two stitches and create them into one we yarn over as if we're making the half double crochet we go into the first stitch and pull up a loop so we have three then we yarn over and we go into the next stitch and we pull up a loop we've got one two three four five on our loop there a hook there we yarn over and we pull through all 
five on our hook. Okay, so now we have pulled those two stitches together. Then we're going to do three more. So that's one half double crochet, two half double crochets in the following stitch and another half double crochet in the next one. Then we're going to do join these next two together. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop. So we have five, then yarn over and pull through all of them, creating a half double crochet together. Like I said, if you are doing the slouchy version, you want to do six half double crochets, then two together. So we carry on one half double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet and one half double crochet. So that's three in a row. Then we're going to join the next two together so we go in and we pull up a loop we yarn over and then we go in and pull up another loop so we have five yarn over pull through all five on the hook we're going to co continue that we're going to do three half double crochets and then half double crochet two stitches together all the way around so you should be left with two stitches here at the end which will be your last double crochet two double crochets together and then we finish that by slip stitching into the top of the first stitch of the round and as you can see that's already cinching in okay now if you're doing the slouchy version the next one you will do five half double crochets and then two together uh, for us we're going to go on and do two so we're going to chain one and we want to do a half double crochet in i'm just catching there we go we want to do a half double crochet in that same spot then we want to do another one into the next stitch then we want to half double crochet two together there we go so we're going to do two half double crochets one two and then crochet half double crochet two together so that's yarn over go in and pull up a loop yarn over going to the next one and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all five loops now you will see that this is going to cinch this in a lot faster now as you can see that's bending right in so it's two half double crochets in a row followed by two half double crochets together just like that all the way around and that's going to cinch the top of this hat quite dramatically so I'm going to continue this row and I'll meet you at the end as you can see at the end of this row the last thing we have to do is one uh, two double crochet uh, two half double crochets together so I've done those stitches and I'm going to join with the first stitch of the row with a slip stitch and cinch that up a little bit as you can see it has closed quite a lot there but not entirely so if you are doing the slouchy version that would have been five half double crochets followed by two together your next row will be four then three then two then one and for us it's one we are going to do just the one so we're going to slip that uh, chain stitch there and then we're going to do a half double crochet into that first stitch then we are going to do two stitches together the next two stitches together so we go in and we pull up a loop we yarn over and then we go into the next one and pull up a loop let me just do that again because i think i missed a strand so we yarn over we go in and we pull up a loop I'm catching we yarn over we go in and we pull up a loop in the next stitch and we yarn over and we should have five on the the hook and one yarn over and we pull right the way through all five 
so we're going to do that again we're going to do one half double crochet and then we're going to half double crochet two together there we go and I'll do that one more time for you half double crochet into the next one then yarn over go into the next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over go into the following stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all five on your hook and that's two together so we're going to do that all the way around we're going to half double crochet followed by two half double crochets together again for the final stitch we have a two half double crochets together in there and we cinch that right the way together there we go sometimes it can be a bit tricky with two strands but if you sort of jiggle it you'll get uh, all the way through so I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the row before now we've cinched quite close but we still have quite a gaping hole in the middle here and that's not a problem because now we are going to super cinch and this can be a little bit fiddly but we're not going to chain or anything like that we're going to go straight into the next stitch and we're going to do two half double crochets together i'm just going to undo that because i didn't yarn over so go in pull up a loop go in pull up a loop and there we go like that pull it through and we're going to do that in every single stitch around and we're going to keep going until we have cinched the whole thing closed just like this Sometimes I have to fight with two strands, but that's perfectly normal. There we go, keep going. And as you can see, the gap is closing up really quickly now. We just keep going round and round and round here now until it's completely closed. With our half double crochets. So I went ahead and finished that up and I'm left with just a teeny weeny gap. So I'm just going to go in, get the yarn on that side. I'm going to go in and pull a slip stitch right across there Oop. I lost one of my strands there we go let's pop it back on the hook there and then just slip stitch right across the other side to close that completely so I'm going to yarn over and pull through some thread and snip that off if you give that a good tug now I'm just going to poke that back down through with my needle and there we have it there's the hat now all we've got to do is pop on the little puff to go on the top and that won't take long at all so I've popped on the popper here using the same thread uh, where I finished right here I finished the the hat here and I've used that thread to go straight in to the popper and I've gone round I've gone in and up and in and up through each hole uh, securing it and now all I have to do is place a little fuzzy pom-pom on the top there nice satisfying click and jiggle it about a bit ah oh, so gorgeous really does look like a tribble so there you go I have got a pom-pom right on the center of that hat isn't it cute 
it is really cute I have also sewn in all my ends while I was at it with the needle now if you're going to do the same and you need a smaller needle like I did let me just grab my needle here it's a much smaller needle with a much smaller eye here so I used a threader let me grab my threader I've got a, th a very old threader I've had this for about oh at least 15 years so I've got this threader here I don't know if you can see the wire properly on there they have a wire some of them come with like a foil handle and some of them have plastic ones when you what you do is you pop it in to the needle uh, eye and then you put your yarn in if you're doing like I did and I'm using both threads do one at a time pop it in and pull it through and then pop that back in and pull the next one through so that you've got both on there uh, that's the best way to do it without breaking your threader but there you go so that is the ordinary size one and uh, this one without the pom-pom just yet is the slouchy one and as you can see it's quite a lot bigger um, lengthwise and it makes this really nice cute sort of slouch on the back of the head and yes I have used slightly different yarns there as I completely ran out on that one so this is gorgeous I love it I am most certainly going to wear it next time we have chilly weather and I really love that pom pom so if I could ask you to just take a moment to uh, like this video and subscribe and if you want to click the little bell icon as well you'll never miss one of these videos you take care of yourselves and um, happy crocheting and I hope you really enjoy your hat take care